my daughter said, Daddy, I want a playhouse. Make me a playhouse. So, with that being said, I started one. Back garden, I wasn't going to buy one. I wanted a bespoke one. We all know about bespoke. So I set out my timber using 3x2. Needed a drill, pre-drill in these holes because I didn't want to try and rip through everything with screws. Set up the frame, used 80 mil screws, five mil diameter. I would have used nails because it's better for the wind, but if I ever want to take all this down, then all I've got to do is unscrew it all and I'll be able to reuse the timber for something else. So the CO2 footprint is lower than it should be. Uh, I've done all these at 600 centers. I'm not doing them at 400s. It's only a playhouse and it's not meant for any uh, any adults to be in there really. Only little kiddies. So I've done them all 600 centers. Squared it all up. And then my little one said she'd come give me a hand. She's the top grafter. So I got in. I used the what's it fixings, what they called. The the ones that you just drill straight in. You use a six point five mil bit, smash them straight in. I can't think what they're called. Rapier fixings, I think they are. Uh by hundred mil long. Put a damp across that bottom timber. Then this uh little section was for the floor i am going to put some hangers on the undersides of these and i'm going to whip that off but that was just to get it all leaned up for now and get it leveled up and i'm spacing everything off this wall to get it all nice and level making up a little dummy frame for sit on top of the fence at the back as it's all that's all concreted into the floor below i thought that'd be a good fixing And then I set up for the roof. I got my rise. I wanted a 35 degree pitch. So I just had a little workout on a uh, on a little app on the phone. Set up set up either end, put a 3v2 ridge board in, and then I started making all the rafters. Got them right each end and then just used the same one. Marked out the bird's mouths, cut all my angles, fixed them in, screw at the top, screw at the bottom. And then it was pretty easy, cut off the tails at the ends and then did the other side. When I was doing the other side, I had an idea that I would have a overhang on the other side. So as the kids can have maybe a little serving hatch or stuff down the bottom so they can see through this side without. And if they were playing outside, you can put seats under there, something like that. But they can sit outside of the we're playhouse. We're house. Or should I say the playhouse, Ballard's Playhouse. Tongue and groove floor. We're going to cut out this, turn it around. We're going to get this floor in here and then we need to get some shingles for this roof. So now I've put the floor in. Screwing in the window frames. The wind is blowing hard. But, well, I'll turn you this way. The shingles for the roof for the playhouse is on the way. Uh, they'll be here within the next hour. So, with that being said, the rain has subsided. I'm going to start getting these 8 before OSB, 18 mil structural OSB. Uh, I've got three pieces of that to put on. So I'm going to whack it on now. And then when these shingles come, I'm going to get them straight on top of that roof. And it'll be weather tight. The roof will at least anyway. And then I'll put some temporary cladding or something like that around the sides. Just to keep the water out of coming on from the insides. So let's get on with it. I've put some timbers just on the end of the rafters. You can't see that one behind a plant pot. I'll move that in a minute. Just so I can pick the sheets up and just lean them on so it's easier for me. What I've done up behind me here, I 
I put two pieces of 4B1 just on the sides just so I could bust it up. I had to get on a ladder and push this first piece up. And I've put a little piece of batten on there so when I lift the second piece up onto the roof, I can get it up to there, let it lie, then I can push it further up, climb onto the roof, use that as a foothold, and I'll be able just to bang some screws in there. I'm going to put a screw on the end of there for my screwdriver just to sit on before I get to it. Right, so I've drawn some lines where my rafters are, been all the way up, and I'm going to just get these screwed in. Nice and easy. To... God, it's windy today. Check these. Te... Check them trees out. Wow, it's heavy, man. Well, the heavens have opened earth and the shingles have just arrived and all. Would you believe? It's always the same, isn't it? So, I've more or less got it all screwed. I've got the other side screwed as well. And I've got to take off. Here, I'll turn you around so you can see. Oh, sorry. There's a section at the top. That board is just a over, I've flown it over at the minute. And then I'm going to get a line strung across the top and I'm going to cut it up there rather than cutting it on the deck and it, at least it'll be nice and straight and then a the little tiny bit that's left is for the other side for the top piece because it's a little bit more than four foot so there's probably a hundred mil piece left so it works in just right but this weather oh my god check it out not doing it justice yeah I'll open the back window I'll open, I'll open the back door it is Amazingly wet now. Jesus. So it's all screwed down now, and I'm going to flip you over and show you there. There's a 175 mil piece to come off the top of you, and then that's going in that section there. And what we've done is, I'm going to whip down, I'll show you. That's the quickest way, just slide off the roof. I've marked with the underside. The underside of that to finish up there you can see that mark top of that V mark top of that V mark is the underside and then when I go come for slide in that piece the piece that goes on top of there it'll just slide in rather than trying to fit into a tight gap it will be slid on top very nice we'll see anyway let's see what it looks like on out pretty much yeah that bit like sits on top of that one like that same as the other side can't see it there but it does sit on top and that is now the roof boarded now when you get the shingles on I've got to go pick up some clout nails so I can nail these shingles on I'll show you the shingles in a minute what do we think I gotta trim the stuff up but this is what we but this is what we got this is what I was after the green so they're dark it's darker green reluctantly darker green than the AstroTurf aka artificial grass but still better than black I think you'd agree so when I look out that kitchen window and look out this way it's much better than black or red so with these it says cut off the flanges well, I've left them on for now cut off the flanges put a strip off either side would have been nice just to have a different thingy uh bend it over and then pretty much just nail it off off bond all the way up we know about a bit of off bond don't we us uh, layers floor lane brick lane shingle lane mfs just keep plodding on now but it does look nice i like that that's nice one little thing i don't like is this and it's called the 15 mil clout nail 15 mil check it you know what i mean you try and get your fingers under that sucker and try and nail it in not a great fan before anyone says why don't you get 20s then it's because it's 18 mil osb if you get 20s you're piercing it brother great Right, that is one side done. I shall show you that side now. 
done bar the very top bit which we'll see what we've got left after and we'll put a band across the top of that but yeah pretty nice and you would not know that that went down another four foot just standing up the top of here perfect height kids can just roll up there check this i'm going to open all this up and they'll be able to just walk straight into the playhouse fantastic right now we're on the other side I've marked a section here, see how I've cut this shorter, this little section, at a lower height than all these, how's the line, line's bloody spot on, check that, oh yeah, spot on, anyway, this one is shorter because of the step, so I've got 1.9 from there down to the floor, and now I've got cut a mitre across, that section I've marked it up, you'll be able to see. And then I'll start putting shingles on this section as well. Right, it's getting a little bit late now, after half past seven. Still bang, bang, bang. Five nails in every strip of this stuff, so... That's my little setup, ladder and a ladder, and... Do you remember that little standoff that I made? Well, it's come in again, because now... I'll whip you on the other side, you'll see. She's hooked on to the other side. That's enough for tonight, I've got one pack left. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, I may have to get another pack, but what the hell's gone in my garden? Somebody, and it might have been the wind last night, has been smashing pants about. But anyway, that's enough for this video. Keep it nice and easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, why don't you go and check out my podcasts? They're on Spotify, and they're also on YouTube. Go and get yourself over there and listen to a couple.